Here we are with Jujutsu Kaisen episode 24. I almost forgot about that I had like one episode left, but here we are. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to this episode. Oh yeah, the bad guy. <clears throat> Acid blood? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Speedy boy. <laughs> hey, you told him to run. Don't whine about it. Are we? The other guy. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> Not out of range. Oh, this is what I saw. The weird black markings on on Nobara on pictures. <clears throat> so this was it. It's not one of, not an ability of hers. Okay. I thought it was because I just saw like I don't know fan art. I think I don't know, and I thought like, is this one of her abilities that you get some weird marks somehow and. Something happens or something? Like maybe a power boost or something? No. Curse it. I have to blow my nose in one second. back It won't kill you, but it will hurt. Well, you know what? In 10 to 15 minutes, you're dead. <laughs> All right. That's weird. If I reveal my technique, it works faster. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, 
Or maybe what he meant is that the blood, if the blood touches you, it won't kill. But now that he activated his shit, that's what kills. Maybe. That sounds messed up. Nubara laughs. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, this is what I saw. That's badass. <clears throat> I didn't thought about that, <laughs> that it could work like that. And blood is one. Oh, I like your look. <laughs> oh, Itadori, punch him. One punch. Man, I love Nobara. Nobara is awesome. <clears throat> mm hmm. And he doesn't care for pain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he got beaten up by Toto. <laughs> I guess that's more painful. Oh my god. Dude, Nobara is so badass. And the OST?
Oh, he released it. <laughs> Man, the OST, dude. <laughs> oh. Just like a reflex. Trying to protect his brother. <laughs> Slipping and dipping. <laughs> Oh, God damn. Oh, his arm is gone. Oh, did both use the black flash? God damn. Oh my god, dude. Nobara is so badass. Holy shit. Man, I love her. <laughs> Not anymore. What the fuck? He can run as fast as a car. I guess it's not fast, but still. Nail? Is she nailing him? Oh, oh, the curse, the arm is still there. Dude, that is so badass. Oh, 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 oh my god. One punch. You realized it? Yep. <laughs> well, he has... Oh, they don't know that Itadori is there, I guess, right? I hate him.
I mean, what she says is true, right? You can't feel bad about everyone. He's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> oh my god. I <laughs> That's interesting. Very smart. <laughs> I mean, not wrong. He teached Itadori a bit. <clears throat> Who's this? May? Oh, that's her. The, the girl with the ravens, right? Yeah, yeah. What? What did I miss? I have to I have to rewatch some parts of the episode, like somewhere at the beginning and the end now again.
<laughs> oh ho <laughs> Well, he dead. <laughs> Gojo again? What do you want? A mission. Top secret. I guess that's how season two will maybe start off. Maybe. <clears throat> or maybe that's just how they ended now and season two will start completely different. Okay, that was episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, first of all, I rewatched some parts um, about like the whole how the cursed objects came to be, right? With the mother that she could have a child with a cursed bird and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, something that completely confuses me is the whole end, not the whole end. Um, so first of all, Gojo paid Mai so that she would recommend his students basically to become first grade I guess he, so he basically bribed her because it's all about money for her that's kind of funny um, but what comes after is what confuses me um, <clears throat> with um, Megumi and Nobara um, Kosi says, don't tell Itadori about the fingers resonating. Nani? I don't know what he means with that. Did I miss something? It's been so, it's been a few days since the last episode. Uh, is that why they did the mission here? Because the fingers were resonating or something? From what I know, they just started the mission because they were sent here, right? Um, and then <clears throat> he says, let's see. Um, okay, she says, are you sure that's what's happening? I'm pretty sure it's over for now, though. The only ones who could put two and two together are us and maybe Miss Nita. Sukuna's manifestation in, 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 in Sukuna's manifestation in Itadori was just a trigger. Which manifestation? When he ate the finger at the end now? Or what? And then he says the Yashuhachi Bridge deaths were gonna happen sooner or later. This <clears throat> This sentence here feels like it wants to say that the resonating and everything and the manifestation happened before that and that's why they came here to investigate because of, because of the resonation uh, resonation or whatever and uh, the man and the manifestation maybe <clears throat> oh 
Oh no, oh. Oh, yeah, I get it now. The curse that is at the bridge had a finger. And because of Itadori, because Sukuna is in him and had no, and he has now, I think he ate two or three fingers already, um, the fingers awakened. And so the curse awakened. And that's why the deaths happened. So that's the resonating, right? The fingers awaken. Now that Sukuna gets more fingers and everything awakens off his fingers. And because of that, the death started. <coughs> Besides, the whole reason he swallowed the, that finger was to save you. And that's from the very beginning, right? When he ate the finger at the beginning, um, I guess, to save him. Because Megumi wasn't strong enough to defeat the curse at the beginning of the season. And so, Meg, uh, and so Itadori ate the finger to get more powerful. Uh huh. But there's no way he w he'd be satisfied with that explanation. <clears throat> so don't tell him. And then comes Sukuna, and it's like it's all your fault. You took me in. Now we s uh, and now the severed parts of my soul have awakened. Yep. Mm hmm. To help lots of people, was it? Brad, people are gonna die because of you, because you live. And now, Itadori says, "Don't say that to Fujigoro Guru." Fujigoro. What is he not supposed to tell? That people will die because of him? I guess because because of him the curses the fingers awaken and because of that curses awaken and because of that people will die from the curses I guess, right? <coughs> um okay, I guess that's what it is right if not then let me know but yeah otherwise pretty dope episode like <clears throat> i would say mainly nobara was the highlight in this episode i would say just she is just so badass <laughs> man she had so many crazy looks in this episode and like i said was just so badass in this episode itadori was for the most part pretty quiet right he didn't say much while fighting and was just punching things but nobara is like really badass with her abilities and everything <clears throat> and i mean she's just a jiu-jitsu sorcerer right she's not like nitadori who is like i guess you could maybe say half curse right because he has the curse in him um so she's just normal and took the hits and everything like a champ and just box them up so yeah dope episode i would say definitely nobara was a highlight i think for me from everything that happened and how she handled it and everything and her ability is just dope and like i said again she's badass <clears throat> overall i have to say this anime has lots of badass female characters right I mean, it's not the only anime that has lots of badass female characters, but for the majority, in at least Shonen, there aren't that many at times, right? <clears throat> I mean, let's go, um, let's say Bleach, for example. First of all, there are barely any female characters compared to how many male characters there are. And then you have like characters like Orih uh, Orihime, who is not really that strong, right? She's like the, the standard, more like weaker character, and more like uh, good. Like she is too good. She is nice to everyone and all that stuff, right? Um, she tries to avoid fighting and all that stuff, which is fine, but it's not really the description of badass, right? And I mean, Rukia has some moments, but overall, also not really, at least from what I've seen from Bleach. 
um, or like Naruto. Sa uh, Sakura, for the most part, not really that much badass, right? Uh, Hinata, also not really. I mean, Tenten, we don't see much. Um, Ino, we also don't really see that much. And other than that, I would say there are not that, that many female characters otherwise <laughs> that we see often. Otherwise, it's mainly just male characters. So, I mean, One Piece, Robin has some badass moments, Nico Robin. And... But Nami is, again, not really that much, right? Um, so, yeah, I would say overall in Shonen, it's often that female characters have maybe some good moments, but overall not that many. But here in this app, in, in Jujutsu Kaisen, Nobara, constantly badass. She's not one time wimping around. Um, always badass and fights and is cool. Um, Maki, also badass and fights like crazy. Um, even Mei is kind of badass. I mean, she has this emotional moment because of her backstory, but otherwise, also pretty badass. Even the little witch bitch, um, I personally don't really like her that much from first impression, but even she was. I wouldn't say necessarily badass like Maki or Mai, a Mei or a Nobara, but she did stuff. She was fighting. She just didn't really had a badass moment, right? <clears throat> um. So yeah, so far, basically four girls that are more or less all badass, um, and I like it. I can't. This is the thing. I I just wanted to say I can't wait for season two. I can't wait. It's not that Jujutsu Kaisen now completely blew me away. I mean, many people are like, man, Jujutsu Kaisen is so awesome. It's so crazy. Was it completely crazy and blew me away? For the most part, not really, I would say. It had some good moments, but I feel like the beginning was good. And then it like went up and down it was like a roller coaster up and down some good moments some bad moments some good moments some bad moments some good moments some bad moments um so yeah i guess we have to see um it, it's it didn't completely blew me away uh, like some other anime that i have watched in my time right um but yeah I guess I will watch season 2 when it comes out, which I think is next year, and then we see how it goes. I can't wait to see the characters again. I said it again, I can't wait. <laughs> what I mean with that is basically I, I want to see more of them, I want to see how they evolve and all that stuff. I think something that I don't like about it that much is basically <clears throat> the curse part is I think something that isn't that interesting to me because it's kind of like Bleach where at the beginning of Bleach you had like the hollows and everything right and at some points when you go to soul society, uh, soul society there wasn't any hollows anymore it was just like man to man combat right against soul reapers and not against hollows and later it was for the most part the Arang uh, the Espadas and Arankas, right? So the hollow part is something that many people don't really enjoy from what I've heard. And so it's similar, right? Because curses are like just these beings that are not really sentinel, right? They it seems like they work more like on instinct and all that stuff. And it just feels like less satisfying to watch that if you just fight basically a monster right instead of like watching actual fighting actual actual people that can talk think and um, analyze their opponents and change their tactics and stuff there's just it, it just feels more fulfilling and more interesting 
when you see like fights against other humanoids right against other humans and stuff <clears throat> instead of like just monsters and i think that's something that was a bit boring when we saw the end i also like i said i don't like mahito i just don't like him and he is like the main villain here right now it seems like with the other guys <sighs> so yeah that also like drags it down if you have like a villain you don't like and he's like the main enemy and you have quite a bit of screen time of him um but otherwise ost very good animation very good i like the characters overall like toto <laughs> super funny and itadori is kind of cool i'm not really a fan of megumi um but then obviously nobara is cool um maki is cool may nah, not that much um because she seems a bit pissy and arrogant like i said the witch i don't really like um the blue hair girl is kind of funny and yeah there was this one i i don't like mechamaru um ingredients guy is not something i'm super interested in panda is kind of funny so yeah overall i like the characters for the most part some not so much others a lot so yeah i guess that's basically it right so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say thanks for watching until next time bye bye